Hi friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs from Embroidery It at EmbroideryIt.com and today we're going to make these sweet little pennant flags that are a quick and easy in the hoop project that can be made for any season, any occasion, and you're going to see just how quick and easy they can be made. They're available over at the Embroidery It Etsy shop. You can get this one for your 4x4 hoop, or you can choose this one that fits for your 5x7 hoop. And this is the one we're going to make today. So but the directions are the same for both of them, just different sizes. So we're going to hoop our lightweight tearaway stabilizer. I've got that ready to go here. For the large one, you're going to need a piece of fabric that is five and a half by 14 inches. And if you're using making the smaller one, for that one you're going to need fabric that is four by eight and a half inches. Okay, so that's the difference there. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of heavier tearaway stabilizer that's that's half the size so this one is five and a half by seven and if you're making the smaller one it's going to be four by four and a quarter right? that's just going to give a little stiffness to your pennant flag and to get started we'll just insert that heavier tear away stabilizer and I, by the way I have folded this fabric so it's right sides to the outside and I have pressed it at the ironing board. So I've got the, the heavy tearaway stabilizer in there to give it some support. I've got my machine, my thread and my design all loaded, ready to go in my machine. It's just two quick and easy stops. I'm gonna lower, I, I record this on my laptop, so I'm gonna lower it down so you can actually see it stitch out. we go. And the first thing that it's stitching is the placement line. where we need to place our fabric. Now here's the key. This is the folded edge here and we're going to put this right at the top of the placement line. And I gotta lean over so I can see it here. So it's just right along the edge. And I want you to take note, the fabric extends just a little bit beyond the where the edge of the flag goes, the fabric will extend a little bit along each side, which is what we want. And we can tape this in place. Quite honestly, friends, I usually just hold it with my fingers for a few stitches, uh, but a little bit of painter's tape is good insurance for us. And this is going to be the final stitching, which both does the tack down as well as the, uh, the, the final heavier stitching to give it a kind of a nice defined look. I'm using the dark pink thread to coordinate and also so you can see it just a little bit better. If you'd like, you could use matching thread in your bobbin. That's completely up to you. And friends, there's a lot. I have been making a lot of these. You can, like I said, make these for any season. Here's a couple for be there for the 4th of July. for 
Halloween here for fall. it for the stitching. That is how quick and easy and perfect this stitch is. So we just will unhoop it and I'm going to raise the computer screen up so I can see you and you can see me a little bit better here. And got our hoop. Let's unhoop it. And I'm actually going to try to push my sewing machine kind of to the side so we can see each other a little bit better here. I have a pinking shears and we're just going to go, oh, about a quarter of an inch around the outside of the stitching. Can you see that? And you can use a straight scissors. That is completely fine. I just I think that the pinking shears give it just kind of a country cuteness, a country charm to it. Now you're only trimming around three sides. You don't want to trim the side that has the fold because that makes the casing to hold the stick. For the smaller design, I used just a standard bamboo skewer. For this larger one that fits in the 5 by 7 hoop, I used a quarter inch wooden dowel that I cut to size. So here we've got it. See, this is the, the um, edge with the fold. Now we're going to just tear. Actually, I probably should have torn it away first, but that's okay. And I need to snip it just a little bit where you see where that placement line stitching is. You just have to do a couple little snips there to cut the thread and then that way it makes it tear away and you'll want to tear it away from the inside of the design. Tear it away before you cut it with your pinking shears. It just works a little better. I just made a mistake there. Okay, so once you have your stabilizer removed from the inside and the outside, then you've got a, a nice little flag here. And you take your wooden dowel and insert it into the casing that was created when you had that fold there and you've got your nice little flag. Um, this one here, I did not use stabilizer on the inside and friends I have found that your stabilizer on the inside really gives it a nice stiffness. Um, that, that, tear, that heavier tear away that we put inside that's going to help keep it nice and crisp, keep it from flopping over, and so it's just a nice added touch. I like to add a little bow to the bottom of mine. You can decorate this all kinds of ways. This is a blank flag, so for instance, you could put your sports team and do it in your favorite sports team's colors. You could, um, for perhaps if it was a country wedding and at a wedding reception you wanted to put these on the table you could put Mr. and Mrs. and maybe the wedding date for a baby shower you could put the baby's name and if the baby's been born the, the date or you know just just let your imagination go wild I've got I showed you this here a little bit ago just get a mason jar fill it full of M&Ms 
and then you can stick it in. See, you can see this one does not have, these don't have the stabilizer, and I've just found that that stabilizer adds such a niceness to it. You'll, you'll be happier with the crispness that you get from adding the stabilizer to it. That's it. Friends, quick and easy. Please stop over at Embroidery It at EmbroideryIt.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. Also, don't forget to grab your free design of the week. We are getting ready to start a brand new alphabet. It's a cute country cross stitch alphabet. And I want to show you, I want to give you a preview of what I have been doing with it. I am in the process of quilting this. So this is getting ready to start in just a couple of weeks. Now this is being recorded on um, February 23rd, 2016. So depending on when you watch this, that's going to make a difference. Um, but anyway, there's always something going on over there. So be sure to head over there and I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a great day here in Michigan. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's cold. It's 24 degrees out, but it's still, it's with the sun shining. It's a pretty day here. All right. Bye friends. Take care. I will see you next time.